Ayaka sighed as she began slowly removing her shirt. Undoing the buttons, she pulled it over her head. Ayaka could smell the dirt and body odor from not having washed in so long. Though it was surprising for a girl not to wash after such a long time, there was also memories of what life was like before reaching the safety of the underground city. She also casually removed the slippers near the entrance of a bedroom. The school uniform shirt was promptly thrown into the wastebasket in the bedroom. Seeing something that she'd worn being discarded created conflicting emotions inside of her. I remember how my parents were so happy to purchase that for me. Ayaka brushed away a tear that formed with the back of her hand. Though she felt a little sad from having to throw away something from her past, Ayaka was also sure that her parents would be happy that she was able to do such a thing. Throwing away the uniform meant that she was in a safe place and could focus on things outside of necessities. Undoing the clasp on her skirt, she let it drop to the carpet. Her long legs stepped out. She reached down and picked up the skirt before also letting it fly into the wastebasket, following the shirt. Now that she was in her bra and underwear, she casually reached behind her to the clasp on the bra. There was a moment of fumbling due to not having removed it in a long time. But soon, she felt the bands loosen and the straps hang on her shoulders. Leaning forward, she let the bra fall from her arms and caught it with her hands. It was soon in the wastebasket. Finally was her underwear. Both her bra and underwear were plain white, though the color was now discolored from not having been washed in ages. After removing all of her clothes and standing with just her skin completely naked, Ayaka looked to the bathroom, eager to feel clean. Her feet flinched slightly from the feeling of the stone floor of the bathroom, but after realizing that it wasn't cold, she eagerly stepped inside. There was a sink with the toilet close by, and then further away were the washing and bathing area. To help with washing was a stool and portable shower head. It was currently attached to where the water came through the pipes. It was located above where her head would be. This meant that if she wanted to use it as a shower, then it wouldn't be an issue. She figured that the stool was likely for those that felt more comfortable sitting in a traditional manner. Just wanting to get washed up, she then changed the setting of the shower head. Removing the bracelet and placing it on a hook likely meant for it. She walked to the shower area. There was a metal pad on the wall. Like the floor, the walls were also made from stone, likely to protect against the water. On the metal pad were various controls, one of them being the temperature. Seeing that she could change temperature manually, she decided to try it being a little lower than what she thought it would be. I don't want to end up burning myself, Ayaka giggled. She then pressed for the water to turn on. Out of the shower head came out a little bit of cold water, causing her to flinch. But soon, the water changed to feeling warm. Once it reached the temperature that she set it for, Ayaka pressed to increase the temperature until she was comfortable. Making a note in her mind at the temperature, Ayaka then just enjoyed the feeling of the water being sprayed into her hair and trickling down to her body.